Back in the summer, we shipped our camper van from the UK to Canada, beginning an overland journey that will take us down to Argentina. This week, we cross into the USA for the first time, but not in the way we originally expected. Welcome to episode eight. First frost. It's getting cold. Ugh. Clap. Yeah. Frost. Oh, that. Off to America this morning. Today, yep, we are crossing into the States. We are heading into Maine. We're just getting all our paperwork sorted for the van, for the dogs and for us. We've got all the dogs' passports with their vaccination certificates. We've got our passports with our visas, we've got the van documentation with the insurance, our COVID passes if we need it. Literally, I don't think there's anything else we need <laughs> apart from a smile. But before we go, we're going to show you the change of plan we've had. Okay, so we are here in New Brunswick and we're going to be crossing into Maine. And our plan is to drive through Maine and then down into New Hampshire and Vermont to see New England in the fall. It's been a bucket list dream of mine for so long to do that. And that is one of the reasons why we've been kind of around this area of Canada for the summer. A lot of you have asked, why haven't you crossed the whole of Canada? Because if we'd done the whole of Canada, we'd be like over here in Alaska and British Columbia for the winter, which we don't really want to do. We want to kind of see this part of the States and Canada when the weather's a bit nicer. So that's why we've been over here. And yes, yeah, so we're crossing into Maine. So we're in a place called St. Stephen's, where we're gonna cross into a place called Calais in Maine, which is pretty funny for us because when we cross into Europe through France, we always go through Calais, and we've crossed to the other side of the world, and are still gonna cross into a new country through Calais, which is pretty funny. But we've had a change of plan. A couple of you have messaged and said, why don't you try crossing from Campobello Island? There's a couple of islands here in the Bay of Fundy that we can get a ferries across onto and cross into the States there which sounds like a bit more fun than just driving across a normal road border. So that is exactly what we're going to do. The sun is shining, the leaves are all changing colours. You ready for America? Ready for America. Ready for America. Excited. Here we go. Will we get on? Will we get on? And NB, Letty T, NB Ferry to Stewart Town. I didn't even get a chance, I haven't even got a chance to turn the engine off and we're moving already. <laughs> so this is our first ferry to get over to Maine. It's a ferry onto Deer Island and it's free, which is awesome. Yeah, my buddy. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just stand still. Buddy. Very lucky to be so up there, Scott. Yeah. Right? So next stop is a Campobello Island, correct? Yeah. Yes. So we need to get a ferry now off Deer Island to Campobello Island, and then from Campobello Island to Maine, there's a bridge. And that's where we're crossing. Well, that was a beautiful drive across the island, and now we're just trying to figure out how we're going to get onto this next ferry, because it looks like we're going to have to go via the beach, because the tide is out. This is going to be our first boat crossing, first boat crossing going onto the beach and then onto the boat. Well, this is infinitely more fun than just driving across a normal road border. Oh, we're moving already. Yeah, we're already on the road. God, they do not hang around. <laughs> So this ferry wasn't free, it was $29 for the van and the both of us, but it's not very busy. You get to walk around on this one and see where you're going and it is a beautiful ferry crossing. That is our first glimpse of the States, that is Eastport in Maine. It's definitely not the way that we expected to arrive in America, but I'm sure it's up there with one of the most fun routes to take. Thank you to everyone who recommended this, great shout. over this hill and oh, well, then we're heading into the states the bridge will be just over this hill around the bend there is america 
Not quite, not quite. It is, isn't it? Yeah, that's America, but yeah. I'll tell you when we're on this line here. There we go. There we go. Meters, you will arrive at your destination. We're officially, well, we're not officially in America. No. We're unofficially in America. Welcome to the United States of America. Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear that? Google just said, welcome to the United States of America. Hello. Hi. We are headed down into Maine and then we are going to be going down the eastern seaboard down to Texas eventually and then into Baja around February hopefully. When's the last time you were in the US? I was last in the US around 2012. Man, this is my first time. This is Ben's first time. Uh, you get the registration with the vehicle. Yes. Okay, well that was a bit of a more thorough border crossing than we're used to because we've got the B2 visas, but we're officially in America! We're in America guys! We've got six months, so we're gonna have an awesome winter here. Heading over to Baja, California. We are in. Let the American leg of our trip yes. begin. But no, go back to the border crossing. It was great, obviously, because we had the B2 visa, we just had to go in and just like go through everything again. Yeah. Nice guys. Yeah, they were lovely. Pretty uh, straightforward and yeah. Yeah. Probably in there for about 20 minutes. Exactly. Had a quick check of the van and we're all good to go. Yeah. So we check are in America, time. baby. So we are about to go and have our first fuel fill up in America. Should be cheaper than Canada and should be a lot cheaper than back in Europe. Apparently the Shell garage also has a fresh water tap around the side. So fingers crossed they'll let us use that. And yeah, let's see how it goes. It's not reset. Right. So we just had to get the manager out because I thought it wasn't working. It just wasn't letting me fuel up. And on and on the little nozzle, there's a little flap I need to pull up first, and then now it's now it's working. So we're all fueled up. We've got water. That fuel came too. We filled up three quarters of a tank. And we have to convert it because it's advertised in gallons here and we work in litres. So it was $1.33 per litre, which is about £1.16. That's yeah. amazing. Welcome to our first park up in the USA. We are both feeling exhausted. It's been a long day of driving today and we've gone back an hour, which explains why the day has felt so long. We've looked at the time and we're like, is that it? But it's because we've gone back an hour. So, yep, gained an hour. The soil has eroded so much here. It's completely exposed this tree's entire root system. Like not just these kind of surface roots, but look these. Like, these really, really deep ones, look at that. <laughs> Where did I appear from, eh? Hey? I'm looking at these eagles. In a quarter mile. Oh, there's about five, six. Wow, look at the size of that house. No, there's about eight just circling around. That was a really lovely place to spend our first night, wasn't it, in the USA? It was, yeah. Nice and peaceful, nice and chilled, nice and relaxed. Yeah, we had a really good night's sleep there. Started to get a little bit busy this morning with people bringing their kids to play at the park and dog walkers. So we've left that now and we're heading towards Acadia National Park. It is meant to be absolutely beautiful. It is one of the most top visited national parks in the whole of the States. We get to see it in all of its glory in the autumn colors and we're camping there overnight too. your destination. Wow. wow. It and is busy. Shit, I knew it would be busy, but look at this. Wowzers. Okay. okay, so we have got an annual pass for America's National Parks. So. And how much is that? $80 for both of us. Oh wow, that's really good. Yeah. So it's basically $80 for the van. Yeah. 
essentially. We've got two Ooh. people on the card, so that's all we're gonna have to keep that there the whole time. We have got a nice big map. Excellent, we all, everybody knows you love a good map. I do love a good map. And we also have downloaded an audio guide of Airbnb. So if you know Airbnb do like experiences, they also do online experiences. And one of them for Maine was an audio tour of Acadia National Park. And What's you basically, driving, isn't it? Yeah, a driving tour. So you download it onto your phone and you can play it through Bluetooth as you're driving through the park. And it's meant to be amazing. So hopefully hey, this should be interesting. You guys don't seem so impressed by the audio talk. <laughs> You're now driving through the unparalleled beauty of Acadia National Park. Or do I mean Arcadia? So I don't know if you can see that mountain just behind me there. You actually need a vehicle pass to drive up there. It's that popular. They restrict the number of vehicles. We don't have a vehicle pass. But if all goes to plan, tomorrow morning, we're going to be hiking up that for the sunrise. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, if we wanted, we could come first thing tomorrow morning and do it after the hike, okay, and like before. Oh my god, it's still going. Oh my god. Oh my god. god. Yeah. Okay, so. So it probably wasn't our wisest idea to come here in the afternoon because it's had time to pile up with people and it is just so busy. John, I'm trying to vlog. So because we're climbing Cadillac Mountain for sunrise tomorrow, we are probably just going to do this drive tomorrow instead. And maybe we can head to the campsite like now so maybe we just explore around the campsite this afternoon and then tomorrow we do this drive when there's hopefully less people and more room for us to park it's not so much the people that bother us it's just the fact that we can't park anywhere because the road is just full so shall I we do it, that think, yeah we can do it first thing and tomorrow. i think we'll do it first thing tomorrow morning and that should make everything a little bit easier yeah deal sounds good Okay, so, oh, I'm zoomed in really far right. So we have made it to our campsite. This is a beautiful, beautiful spot right in the woods. Well, we've got two battery to battery chargers, both Victron um, 30 amps, but they're not, the maximum amount of ampage they're, they're picking out they're pushing out is probably about 35 amps for the two and there, there should be at least 45 50 maybe even 60 on a good I, I could on a good day so i'm just checking all the wiring Every, all, no, all the fuses fine they're both reading correctly like they're both but so i just don't know why for the love of god <laughs> they're not pushing out more amps so i'm just going back and checking everything yeah, see so they're all connected I just don't know. This way. It's back in there. Thank you, baby. Good morning. Good morning. Can you tell me why we're up at this godly hour of the morning, please? To do a sunrise hike. Our well, alarm went off at 3.50 this morning. River, is it from the scouts? Like rummaging around as you go out. Yeah, so we're going to go and hike Cadillac Mountain. We are indeed. Cadillac Mountain, all going. Are we scout? Is everyone ready? No. <laughs> but let's get going. These woods are absolutely pitch black. There is no moonlight. There's quite a few rocks and roots to climb over. Okay. At least we're on the right path. Let's go. Let's go. I feel like we're walking in the Forbidden Forest. <laughs> in Harry Potter. It's really nice, you can't see anything. <laughs> no, on. it's really nice. We've never hiked in the, at night, have we? Or in, no, it's uh, in interesting, the dark. yeah. Oh, but yeah, it's very quiet. No one, else, no one else is about. So we've been hiking for an hour through like thick forest 
and I think we're broken through the tree line now but it's definitely an experience hiking in the pitch pitch black in the wilderness and there's no other hikers around we thought there'd be loads of people on this trail I think maybe they're already up there but it's um it's been fun you have to concentrate so much because there's loads of roots and rocks everywhere and obviously you can't see around and you're having to concentrate right in front of you so it's quite a focused walk it is, isn't it yeah sky is starting to get light now you can see the sun coming over the mountain over there so we are going to possibly miss it but <laughs> i think it'll be all right all right let's get, all right, let's get moving yeah so we've come up once you're above the tree line a lot of the hike is on these like flat rocks and i'm using my all trails offline map with the gps and i'm so glad we've got it because it would be so hard to keep track of the trail in the dark like it's actually surprisingly difficult isn't it to see it is, it is marked they're the blue yeah. markers but you really have to pay attention for them but yeah i mean what a view this is i think we should just stop here wow. oh, mist in the valley i don't think we're going to get a big epic sunrise but Look at the views. We're about to walk up into the mist. Oh, that's not a surprise for us. And rename us from overlanding Sophia to overlanding in the fog. We are heading to the summit. We have walked into the thickest cloud and now it's just a matter of principle to get to the top. So you can actually drive to the top, but you need like a vehicle reservation and all that kind of stuff. But it means it can get quite busy at the summit itself. So I don't know how long we'll stay there, but we'll definitely get there. Wait, wait, wait. So, River will probably wait, need wait. help jumping up. I'll let go of Scout's lead and he'll do it. Scout's got bad back, uh, River's got um, bad back legs, so she can't jump very well. Yeah. So things like this, it, she kind of Look, she's up. waiting for you to pick her up. <laughs> oh, I was gonna let Scout go. Come on, mountain goat. Come on, let's go, off you go. Here are all the cars. Amazing, hey? What have you guys? Here you go. <laughs> this is like the skyline all over again. Oh my god. We came, we saw, we conquered. No. Nope. We've done Cadillac Mountain. We came, we didn't see. <laughs> no, true. Uh, but we conquered. We did, yeah, we came, we saw nothing, but we conquered it. Made it to the summit. Oh yes, this is about in there. Mm. What's this? Mm. Okay. So I'm that hungry, I might join them. Even though the summit was a bit of a fail, I've absolutely loved this hike. It was so much fun walking up in the pitch black. And at first, when we first started out, the sky was clear and the stars were amazing. And we're like, oh, it's gonna be an amazing sunrise. And then it's like this, but the first part of the hike, wasn't it really cool walking through yeah, like, yeah, the thick was. forest really, really... in the pitch black, there was no one else around. It'll be that was really fun. It'll be interesting to see what that is. For a bit of forest is like. Yeah, we get we to see it through. for the first time on the way back. Blackwoods Campground, 4.2 miles that way. Fun fact about Cadillac Mountain is that apparently it's the first place in the US that you see sunrise. Yeah, not this morning. Not this morning though. <laughs> nope, not at all. So we've made it beneath the tree line. We are now back in the woods. It's nice to see what we were hiking up this morning. It's actually a really beautiful walk, just this really rocky boulder strewn path. I'm ready for a, a hot coffee and some toast. <laughs> and a sleep. Look at that, nine o'clock, we'll have done 12K. I don't know, we're eight back, 13.2 kilometers. Well done. <laughs> Check out time here is pretty early at 10 o'clock, so we are getting ready to leave, packing up now. This is such a beautiful campsite. We are just nestled right in the forest. It is so peaceful. I read that this place gets booked up months and months in advance. We were so lucky to like grab a last minute reservation like two days before. We probably got a cancellation or something maybe. But yeah, perfect for hiking, perfect, perfect for visiting the national park. Yeah, we'd be sad to leave this spot. So we are back on the road, the sun is shining. We are gonna give Sand Beach one more shot. We're gonna head there now, see how busy it is, see if we can find somewhere to park. We thought it might be a lot quieter in the morning, but judging how busy it was at the summit this morning and how many cars were on the road, 
we're not holding out much hope, but we're gonna go and see anyway. Oh my god, it is fucking heaving down there. New York, Mississippi, Hampshire, New Hampshire, Florida. This, this is longer than yesterday. This is obviously like the, the creme de la creme. This is the, the sprinkle on your donut. <laughs> this is obviously what you need to see apparently. Um, we've missed it again. We'll Google it. We hiked a misty mountain this morning. We hiked a misty mountain for no view rather than come to the beach where it's sunny. <laughs> there we go, there's the beach. There you go. Oh, there we go, it's a nice view. So we've just tried to come into Jordan's Pond House, which is a little restaurant and gift shop. They're really famous for their popovers, which are apparently like hollow muffins filled with jam, which sounds amazing after that hike we did this morning. Yeah. I could definitely do some sugar, but there's no parking spaces. So I think we're gonna leave the popovers and make our way out of Acadia National Park, aren't we? I think we're gonna leave, yes. Had a beautiful, beautiful drive. It is a stunning, stunning national park. Had an amazing hike this morning and we have got laundry to do, we've got food to go and get, so we've still got a big day ahead of us, so I think we're gonna we're gonna leave it there. Holidays are coming. All. Is this the first time we've used the Starlink in the States? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it all working? All working, all set up, pointing through the trees or mm -hmm. just past the trees. Um, but a few of you asked about when we move between countries that we're going to have to deregister it in, say, Canada and re-register it in the US. With the RV package, it already comes with um, the portable version. So it means that you can move around the country, between the countries and you don't have to deregister or register. When we move continent, that is different. So at the moment in North America, we're fine. When we come to South America, we might have to. So we're all good to go for the States? All good to go. Look at these two. These two look how me and Ben feel right now. <laughs> We're just finishing up with some work and there is a flock, a, a group of wild turkeys outside. There's so many of them and they are huge. They're called a rafter or a flock. A rafter or a flock. I prefer rafter because I've not heard that one before. No, that's a there good There's a rafter of turkeys outside. We are having pure comfort food for dinner tonight. I was going to attempt shepherd's pie number two, but I cannot be asked. I cannot muster up the energy to do that. So instead, we are having fake chicken burgers with this plant-based chicken, which is absolutely amazing. They're so, so good. Ben is having his with some tater tots. I'm having mine with some vegan mac and cheese. We are going all out on the comfort food tonight. I'm so, so looking forward to this. How many tater tots do you want? 24. 24. 74. 74. This is the beige dinner to end all beige dinners and I am so excited. Oh, thank you beautiful.